Hi, welcome to the channel. My name is Dallin. I'm a third year medical student. Uh, the channel is dedicated to all things medical school related, whether that's getting in or succeeding once you're there. Uh, I had a few people ask me to make a video on how I make note cards, um, so I, we'll get into that. So the advantage of actually making your own note cards is that you're getting a first pass that you're actually having to think deeply about as you're thinking of a question to make the note card. Uh, I have a few friends who scored above 265, all three of them made their own note cards. I know it's popular to use Zenki decks and I know I have friends who did well using a Zenki deck as well, but it was just interesting for me that my friends that scored the highest all made their own note cards. So a quick explanation on how I actually organized it. What I would do is I would literally organize it just like first aid. That way I could study note cards specific to whatever I wanted to do. So for if I were gonna look at cardiovascular and I opened this up, I ended up having the anatomy, the embryology, patho, path, um, the pharmacology, and then the physiology. Some of them I broke them down further on things that I wanted to study more specifically that I wasn't good at, like congenital heart diseases, for example. And now let's dive into how I actually would make a note card. Here I am in first aid. When I used to make note cards, I used to think, oh, I want to make them just like step one questions where they're second or third tier. So if I was going to make something on lead poisoning, I would have said something like, oh, I, what is the, um, pathophys behind the disease that can cause encephalopathy, abdominal colic, and uh, as well as wrist and foot drop. And then I only did that to realize that I couldn't remember what even I was talking about. So I just started making the most of my note cards and I thought this was plenty useful. Um, just straight up first order questions so I could get the, the basics in my head. And I would literally, if I was gonna make something on lead poisoning, I would write here, um, what does lead inhibit? And then I'd put two by it. And then I'd literally just screenshot here, just like this. And then I would put it right here, and that's my card, that simple. And I would add something along the lines of, what does this cause downstream? And then boom, that's the end of my card. So this is how I would make one of my cards. Now, for a chart or something like this or a graph or for any of the anatomy, what I would actually do is use the occlusion tool. I'll link in the description how you can download that. And I would take a screenshot like this and then I would hit over here, which will then pull in some of my files and um, typically down here, click on this. And then I can actually occlude. So I could say, okay, I, I don't want to know what a monocyte is. And then I can go ahead and occlude this. And you, I usually do the hide all guest one. Uh, there's, there's another one where you can hide one guest one, but I didn't like that one as much. So I typically do this. And then it'll highlight a red, uh, one of these squares is red. And that's the one that it's asking you about. And then you can toggle it afterwards uh, and it'll sh end up showing you everything. Uh, I find this useful to memorize graphs, um, uh, useful to memorize an, a lot of anatomy I did this way, and then just anything that is real table heavy uh, that you see in first aid, that's how I memorized it. And then finally, for information that I didn't know from a test question, I typically would just go through every single answer choice and anything that I didn't know, uh, I would turn into a note card from either UWorld or from the MBME. So now that you've made the note card, how should you study it? Well, I think that really depends on what year you're in. Uh, if you're a first year, I would suggest making them with whatever block you're in. So if you're in anatomy, I would do the MSK section of, uh, of first aid and study that in conjunction with your class material. So do however many note cards that is. Let's say it's five, for me, I think it was around 500. Uh, so if it's 500, you do the 500 note cards. Uh, until you get them done and you're ready for your test. And then when you move on to, let's say, biochem, you do the whole biochem section and you memorize it then. And then you keep reviewing those cards as you continue to do um, more and more sections and that way you've committed it to long-term memory. If I was a second year, I would take a similar approach, but with, let's say, your block is neuro and you've already done the MSK, I would combine two subjects at a time uh, so that way that you're catching up and you'll be ready by dedicated. You'll already have had all your material studied and you can just be reviewing. Trust me, this is how I wish I would have done it. I didn't do it this way, but if I could go back and do it again, this is how I would have done it. One, I think I would have done better in school 
Two, I think I would have done better on step one. And most importantly, I would have actually had some time after dedicated to go and travel. So if you have any other questions, anything else that you'd like me to cover, please let me know in the comments below. Um, and if you haven't seen my step one video, uh, you can go ahead and check that out here.